what is good guys, I'm here with some ulti laddering, I just thought why not start yet, I was just testing this team a bit, um, yeah, this is like mega laddy balance, this was used last cycle, I meant to record the 1000 subscriber special with my friends, um, but yeah, it's like time, it's like hard to find a time where everyone is online because time zones are a thing, but yeah, this team is made by Dan3 and Lioness, credit goes to them for the team, I will leave it in the description if you guys want it, because I'm pretty sure um, some people have seen this team used last cycle. Leonos used it to qualify. Like he used multiple teams, but he also used this. And yeah, I'm pretty like pretty sure like people are always interested in the teams that are used to qualify. So I'm definitely gonna drop that. Um, it's uh, it's a cool team. It's um, the Gliska set helps to beat Stall with um, a knock of Swords and Taunt. I'm gonna talk about the team a bit when I search for the next game. I was just gonna scald here. Uh, I've had it, I played Nidoking King and Nidoking King has pretty much perfect coverage against this team. This team doesn't have a Scarfer, Coco doesn't have HPI, so I couldn't even revenge Nidoking. King. So I lost one game to a Nidoking. King. He had Flamethrower for Pharaoh, he had Ice Beam for he has Ice Beam for Glisco, Sludge Wave for this. My Ladi got weakened, so I couldn't uh Ladi can't Oko him with Ice Beam. My Ladi was in range from Ice Beam from Nidoking. King. And Pax obviously gets destroyed by off power, so like I tr like I also tried to pivot around a bit uh Nido King around Nido King, which I shouldn't have done. And I got completely bopped, but I think I went like 3-1 with this team, so like... Um, we're like mid 1300s, I'm not that high, it's only I think the second day of the third cycle. Um, link to sign up will be down in the description as well if you want to sign up for OLT. I'm just gonna go packs again, if he goes for Bulldoze, I have a free switch into Ladi, if he goes for Sacred Fire, that's completely fine. Why did it do so much? Not having Black Sludge, um... Really sucks here. Mm, I'm gonna... Is he He's static zapped us. I know that he's gonna roost T. I'm gonna get up a T spike just for his anti. And even if he T bolts, that does nothing. Because we're spadef. And now I can just go Ladi. As long as he doesn't T bolt Paramedia, it's completely fine. Um, the the Clef also has Toxic, um, which is definitely nice for like certain setup sweepers. Actually, I don't know what Toxic is for specifically, to be honest. Uh, this guy is nice, he just G with a smiley face, so we're just gonna ice him pick this off if he stays in, if he goes enter he takes poison damage. I think I'm like, my record is like 14 and 2, so not the best. That one loss was to Nidoking King where I couldn't do much. Um, this Coco set is interesting, it's Calm Mind um, Z Twinkle Tackle, which pretty much can Oko Landris at plus 1, you just go for Calm Mind on a switch. Like it has a like 83% chance to Oko land at plus 1. So like if you just get some chip damage, you just kill them. Um, I don't want Ladi to die because I want Ladi to put in some work. I've only recovered Mega Ladi as once so far. So I'm definitely gonna um, win this game with Mega Ladi. Not just gonna suck it off and put it with the uh, disgusting Toxic packs. So we can T-Bolt here. We can start looking for another one, but yeah, yeah we're gonna start looking for another one for sure. The team itself doesn't have header control, but it's fine because the opponent is pressure to defog a lot of the time as we get rain. Um, isn't this the rain team that I faced already? Yeah, yeah, I think this is the team that I faced already like two times. So we're 1336. I thought it was a bit higher. But yeah, T-Spikes are amazing versus this. I've played versus this in another video, so I'm just gonna leave with uh, Pex and get up T-Spikes. Like, we, this team has pretty much all hazards other than Sticky Web. We have um, Toxic Spikes, we have regular Spikes, we have Stealth Rocks. Um, he leads Typo Cuckoo, so he gets me there. I'm just gonna go my Pharaoh here. I'm not willing to risk my um, packs. And he crits me turn 1. If I stayed in there, I would've been blown away. I wouldn't have died, but I would've taken like 90 or something. Probably. Gets an early crit, which sucks. Um... I assume Clefable is my um, should be my answer for Halucha because I kind of want to leave she breaking SD, but that's no point. Yeah, Clef has to play. I don't even know if Clef can Oko him though. Okay, Mumbas is a roll. is a seventy-five percent chance. So hopefully, I get the roll. Yeah, he might be running some HP. I don't know. If I don't get the roll in a bad position, that this is. I don't know if I talked about this already, but this team is lacking a Scarfer, so. I, I mean, this outspeeds Scarf as a plus two anyway, but just in general talking about the team, we don't have a range killer, which can be really annoying in some scenarios. So he goes, goes to Ferrothorn. Mm, 
Just could I have knockoff and I kind of don't want to lose my leftovers on Clef. But I just want to start hazard stacking him. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I just said I don't want to get knocked off and I just let it happen anyway. I don't remember if this has spikes. I'm gonna go Gliscor here. If he goes for double knockoff, really good play on his part. But yeah, he just spikes, so now I can taunt. No, I can knock off. He can also just go into Swampert here. Knockoff is just me predicting his Pelipper because he might want to get up the rain. And uh, Knockoff also gets rid of the little, um, I think it's Chopper Berry on the Pharaoh. So this is fine. I assume he's just gonna go for U-turn to get some of his rain 3 bits in, so we're just gonna... Just gonna go for um, another knockoff. As yeah, he just oh he goes Kingdra, wow, hard Kingdra, not even U-turn. I don't know why, but yeah, he just gave me his choice specs, which can be annoying in the sense that now he's not choice locked anymore, but it also means he does less damage. So I'm gonna go Pex. Pex is mainly needed for this. He ice beams for some reason. Gets the freeze. I'm just gonna scald. If he Dragos, I should eat up. And if he switches, I can get a burn. And Coco, okay, so we take, we get the rocks damage on Coco. I think there's a Z Dazzling in Coco as well. No, I don't remember. I think, yeah, I think it is. We get a lucky burn there. Uh, Volt Switch, Dazzling Gleam, T Bolt. I don't know if the last move is HP Ice. But I don't need Glisco for much, so I'm just gonna go Glisco. Yeah, it's Thunder. Oh, I said T Bolt. It's obviously Thunder. And. I'm gonna just off quick here. Z Twinkle Tackle, I assume. That doesn't Oko me. Max Spadef. Oh, not Max Spadef, but like Spadef Glisco. I think enough speed for Majorna. The Ladi is um, a really interesting set. It's like Bolt Beam with Hidden Power Fire. So you can hit Pharaoh Thorn. You can also hit Majorna with HP Fire if they like. If they like. Um, a Florican, no Ice Beam. I mean, Ice Beam doesn't do that much unless they have Calm Mind. But yeah, we're just gonna repeat and go Pex. Uh, he might go Swampert, which makes me wanna go into Ferrothorn here, but I'm still gonna just go Pex. This guy hasn't made any plays that... Yeah, exactly. This guy hasn't made any like plays that made me play different. So I wanna go Ferro here really badly, but I'm not. I'm just gonna get up a T-Spec because that forces him to default. And he, I need to chip on Swampert. I think he's gonna overpredict here, but I'm just gonna set Magliska because I don't need it for much. Coco's already dead. Yeah, that, that, that's completely fine. Um, I just didn't want to go hard into my Pharaoh. So now I can just go to this and click Power Whip. Pelipper should die to Power Whip. And if he goes to his own Pharaoh, it's a good play. Um, but he goes Pelipper, so if I hit this, he dies. His only potential defogger is gone, so the Toxic Spikes stay up, which is what I want, because I need Chip on this Pert. Um... I'll adjust to the threat potentially, but nah, he, he doesn't have a seat anymore, so never mind. So Coco outspeeds him. Yeah, this should be this the only threat to me, Swampert, and has it more if if Ferrothorn gets up more spikes, that could also be definitely annoying. But other than that, I'm completely fine. Swampert is like the main problem. So I just have to keep my Ferro healthy and I'm fine. So I'm definitely not gonna stay in here, I'm just gonna go hard into Clefable. Now his um, acrobatics isn't even stronger because of the not seed thing, so so Clefable waltz is Halucha for ages. For days, for years, I don't know, however you want to say it. Um, I assume he's going to have that stack thingy. Mm, okay, Farrowthorn is annoying for this team. Uh, if I had common, I would just set up. I'm going to Pharaoh here and knock off his Pharaoh. But then he's going to knock me off too, and I kind of wanted this to check his perth. So I kind of don't like my play. But I just really want to... Oh, he's chopped, he's not even left over, so what am I doing? Not, okay, so let's not go for knockoff. Uh, let's just go Pex here. No, I mean, I, f I completely forgot he didn't have lefties. I thought this would be annoying to deal with. But I just realized I can just go Mega Lari. Um, like, if he has Lead Sheet, he has Lead Sheet, that's fine. I mean, they had they run Lead Sheet. He's like Chop. I completely forgot that. Because if he had leftovers, he could, like, he could heal her, He could heal off very easily. But I just, yeah, I'm, I messed up there. That's fine. I don't know. If this, oh, it's, it's the, oh this, this is the NJP set that doesn't have Lead Sheet. So this puts me in reason, uh, even a better position. I'm tempted to go Clefable here, but Pax is pretty much only needed for this, so that's there's no point. Yeah, this is why I wanted to go Clefable because I knew he would Draco, so now if he crits me. Nah, I don't need my Pharaoh, uh, my Pax, it's fine. 
I'm willing to sack this. Do I really need this for anything? Yeah, it's not. It's kind of nice to keep. So, gonna go Lottie here, even though Lottie is nice for the fur with HP fire. And um, this is completely fine. Well, Lottie took this better than I expected. So never mind. Swampert is not really a threat. Out outside of rain, obviously, because I outspeed him, and Rainy could have tweet KO me. But I can just roost and toxic stall him down. But yeah, I didn't play this optimal, but I'm I'm still fine here. Yeah. Messed up at like one point for a bit. Mm, so I think I can start searching for another one unless he hexes me. So you got a low roll there. Now you got a higher roll or like mid, I don't know. I'm gonna start looking for another one though. So I'm gonna make this like 35 minute video, I think. Depending on if I get throttled like two times in a row, I'm gonna obviously st uh, get more games because I wanna like go on a. I wanna um, collect some points. Didn't I play this guy earlier? Off screen? I think I played someone off screen who had like the same mons. Um, but yeah, here's Zardwai plus Dagi, which doesn't beat me. Um, because. I have the shed shot packs. Just gonna leave the packs. Get up a T spike. It's a spadef, so even if he has E sense, uh, extra sense, yeah, I live that anyway. So we can just kill him with HP fire here. Yeah, he's just Scarf Grin. He goes to Dagi, he, think he thinks he has me trapped, but in reality, I just go Gliscor here, get my Toxic Orb. And I just get to click knockoff here. If he goes Mew, he gets poisoned before he can defog, and we get rid of his left thief. If he goes out Y, we just go Feral Thorn. If he goes Blue, he that's his best play. But he goes Mew. I think yeah, actually Blue also would have gone poison. Yeah, he didn't really have a best play. Yeah, he obviously wants to defog before he goes into his Blue. Um, in case he has Ice Beam, there's no point in staying in. Uh, I'm gonna just go Clef and get my rocks if he defogs. He doesn't even defog, so I'm just gonna spam Moonblast now. Actually, I can rocks. I can rocks. What am I doing? The other guy just forfeited. Yeah, I'm a rocks now. He whisked me for some reason, so I guess he doesn't know what he's doing. Uh, yeah, we only mid 1300s. These guys are like weird. Um, so this game is already over. I think I'm just gonna rocks because he has to defog here. Yeah. Just gonna spam rocks. Got a Moonblast here. If he, like he, if he defogs again, I can just rocks the next turn. I could have spammed rocks, but I don't think there's a difference because he's forced to heal anyway. Unless he wants to lose his mew and switch out and like keep it, his mew low, which is definitely not in his interest. And in, yeah, yeah, I don't really see how he can beat my team. Tabu Bulu is like with SD is like a threat, but other than that, like I have my Mega Lottie to check him. He went hard good ninja and sacked it, predicting I don't know. I think he predicted me the rock breaking his defog. I had no reason not to, but. Yeah, this game should be over. Majorna could be a threat. Um, Dagi is annoying if he's screech, but I don't, I don't know if he's C move because he didn't go for it. So we're just gonna Moonblast. He doesn't have. He doesn't go for screech here. I don't know if Z move would kill me. Z move might kill. No, I don't think Z move kills me from 71. So yeah, this is. Uh, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. I can already start searching for another one. This is over. Unless he had a Majorna that can beat my team if it's like fo Z focus blast. With Ice Beam and he just wanted to weaken my Clef for it. But yeah, we're gonna go Pexy. If he's that wide for some reason, that could be a threat for sure. I don't remember if I have Haze on this. I have Haze, okay. So I'm gonna just recover. I don't have a reason to like risk him solar, solar Beam critting me or anything like that if he stays in. Mm. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> GG. So that guy dipped after he saw it did, did nothing. <laughs> And we're just gonna look for another one. Now this guy's called YouTube, I don't know if that means that he has a YouTube or if he just names himself that for the memes. But his rank is... Uh, not really that good. Have fun. I'm not gonna say good luck, I'm not trying to get hexed out here, but I... Again, don't lose much from leading but packs, but... Uh, I also don't lead... I also like Lottie as a lead here if he leads with Landrus. But yeah, I, I, should have, I should have gone with my gut and led with Pex. Because now he gets to U turn out and he gets momentum, which is what I didn't want. 
Oh, but it's fine. I could have also just Mega Evolved because, but yeah, this was my better play. I thought he was Scarf u but in case he's Ash, this was obviously my play. I'm gonna get a bit teeth by here because it hits the Volcarona and the Greninja. And if he goes to this, he's kind of forced to defog. I'm gonna go Gliscor here. No one HP Isis on this turn, and I just want my Tox Poison Orb. Oh my fucking god! This is the low ladder. What am I saying? No one HP Isis. Why would you do that? Like, my play. Okay, okay, let's explain this. My play was completely wrong and bad. I had a Megalati which walled him. I have a Clefable which can check him. My only play there was Megalati, but I was getting greedy. I thought he would defog. I wanted to get my to po Poison Orb early. But it's completely fine. Just gonna get my Mega off an Ice Beam here. Because this guy uh, thinks that just beats everything. But yeah, I played this awful and I regret it already. I wanted to double back into Glisco there to get my Toxic Orb, but I guess my Glisco is just gonna be low. Um, if he's Florican, I have to scout for that. But if he Calm Mines here, which is what I'm expecting. Oh, he's AV, so that's fine because AV is not a threat. It's a good pivot for him, but it's not a threat in the sense that like it can definitely not sweep me. But yeah. <laughs> um, my Glisco play was like unnecessary as fuck. I said no one HP is there, but then I forgot I was in the low ladder. People are wild. Um, I think he's gonna predict my glitch score here. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know why I went into it. <laughs> I already don't want to record anymore because I played this so well. unnecessary. Like his play made no sense, but I also had no reason to make my play. Um, but yeah, HP fire comes in clutch here. Hopefully he doesn't need seat here. Oh yeah, hopefully he just gets some. Yeah, exactly. If he gets his rocks up, um, I can T-Ball though. I can Ice Beam here. I'm gonna T-Ball predicting his Greninja. Uh, Magena, okay. I don't know why that was the play. I mean, I get why. I get a Para, which is definitely un uh, lucky for me. But yeah, now I lost my Gliscor, which makes him spam Volt Switch for free. Which sucks so much, but for some reason he doesn't want to Volt Switch. So I'm gonna get out my T-Spike. I just have to Hazard stack him so he has to defog the rocks away because the rocks are definitely annoying. Um, I'm so fucking mad that I set my Glisco for no reason. Like, Lali walls this. I was fearing. Uh, let me explain to you guys why. Um, I always try to scout for Toxic on Zapdos. But it's not really common. But that's basically the, why I made that play. Of going Glisco. Like, I kind of like to scout for Toxic. Because they should know Lali walls Zapdos. But these guys are just. I don't know. What the fuck they are doing. Um, this is a problem, especially if it's. If it's the correct Z move, I just lose to this. If it's um, Psyche Neo and Z, I just get destroyed here. I can go to. Yeah, exactly. Like, I could have gone Ferris on there, which is what I was thinking about. But. Wait, I didn't click Haze. I thought I clicked Haze. But if he stays in and Quivers again, I'm fucked. So this guy doesn't know about Haze. He's really unexperienced. Like, this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. No one HP is there. But that, I mean, I don't think an experienced player would have HP iced ever. Because his best play there was either defogging. Like, I don't know. My, my play of Blisco was unnecessary, but like his play also made no sense. Um, just gonna scroll here. I don't know why he keeps doing this. I got a crit, which sucks, but I don't think it matters too much in the long run. If he doesn't have Psychic, he can't do shit to me. He just has Bug Buzz. He might be Roost, but that doesn't matter to me. So he goes Magirna, I think he's just gonna Volt out. Like, if I had kept my Glisco around, he couldn't have spent Volt Switch every time this was in. Which is one of the reasons why I should have kept it around. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go to my Pharaoh here. I assume this is like offense. No, what? He's U turn. Oh, he's, I guess he's Scarf. I'm gonna Spike here. Well, wait, he's Z move. I thought he was Scarf. Okay, I got fucked there, but that doesn't kill. Um, this is completely fine. I can sec this. Now I can go in the Lottie and click Recover at Roost. He's gonna go Magirna and Volt Switch around, I think. Which again, this is the problem. Not having the score around sucks. I mean, I can Ice Beam here, but Ice Beam is like 5 to Magirna, there's no point. Yeah, I can lose this game because I, th I thought it was a good idea. Why did he sack his Landorus? These people are so bad. Come the fuck on! 
This guy is fucking bad and gets rewarded. I want to recover. Uh, I want Roosty on his floor, uh, on his non floor can on his Volt Switch, but it's just not worth it. But yeah, this guy has shown that he's really bad. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Like, what am I supposed to do with his bad players? Like, I know I, I know I play bad, but like, it's way easier to me to play versus um. If you're watching this, you're probably just inexperienced. I didn't mean to shit talk you. But like, ladder triggers me, so he just forfeited. I don't know why, because he had a chance of winning. Because his dog shit plays that he made worked out for him. I mean, I probably would. Yeah, I probably should. I probably still shredded him with my laddie plus. I don't know what else. But we got an old T player. I'm gonna ignore specs because people that someone joined. And this is the team that P2 made, which is definitely a pain to face. Um. But he has a bad win loss rate, so I assume he's not that experienced, and we can crush his dream. This is offensive Z move Zapdos. Um, I think this is healing wish softball seismic toss chance. I don't remember if it's rocks. Uh, I'm just gonna look this guy's team up because honestly, why not if I have it? Um, I don't have many ditto teams, so it shouldn't be hard to find this. And my builder, that is Defog Scissor, Agility Zapdos. Rocks Chansey, Bandit, Zygarde, um, Ditto, Toxapex with Teeth Spikes, Mixed Defensive. Um, okay, so Kilfello pretty much has a final lead here. He only has Rocks, I have multi multiple hazards, he's probably gonna be forced to defog a lot. It's gonna be completely fine. Oh, I just messed up dimensions, my bad guys. So yeah, I don't think this should be too too hard of a game. Um, like no offense to my opponent, but like he has a bad win loss, and I know his team. Mm, I just have to be careful about the ditto because that can. The ditto can become annoying, but I don't want to knock the ditto off with my good score because if I knock the ditto off, then it can change up moves. But if I nah, if I just. Now I was gonna say if I get up a T spike, I'm fine, but he has this to absorb them. He has this to defog. I don't know why he's taking so long. I'm tempted to pause it till he picks a move. Uh, yeah, Glisco puts in a lot of work. The only problem I have here is... I don't know how good he is, like I said. Um, like, knocking off Chansey could be big, but he has always um, Scissor to come in. And if he goes uh, dead on my knockoff, that would be annoying because then he can kind of... PP stole me, so he just leads with this to see my set. Um, that's completely fine. We can exchange rocks if you want. So I know this is defog. I guess this is smart that he's scouting my set. Um, this is also defog, bullet punch, U turn, roost, right? Yeah. Just making sure that he doesn't have knockoff because my poison orb is gonna be uh, pretty clutch in this game. Yeah, I'm just gonna get my poison orb activated. I can see him going into Ditto now. Wait, how does this work? If Ditto copies Gliscor, does it get poisoned? The next time it comes in, is it, is it still poisoned? I don't know. Um, but yeah, he's probably gonna U-turn out here. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to SD. I'm just gonna get chip damage because if I SD... And I don't know how, how Ditto works with Gliscor. First, it can become annoying if you copy my glass score. So we just take the chip damage that we can get. This game may take, may take a bit longer, so it might be the last game of the recording. Let me pause real quick and check if, if I was recording correct. If I messed up the audio of this video, I'm gonna be pissed. Okay, so he decides to go into Zapdos. This is all offensive Zapdos, but I'm just gonna double check. T will T2 have HPIs, yeah. So Mega Lottie walls him for days, unless he paras me, or that would be annoying. Uh, if he burns me, I'm gonna be pissed. Um, so he's probably gonna go Chansey here. Um, I'm gonna go Clefable and get my rocks back, or what else can I do? I can go Ferrothorn here. Wait, what if he heat waves again, for some reason? That would have just shown me that he's super bad if he hit with again. So what I'm gonna do here is I'll uh, get up a spike. Yeah, this is game. This game is gonna take forever. I'm sorry, guys, but um, 
I might not make the the most optimal plays that will um, make me win this game faster because I want to be careful and not misplay. So it will just take a while. Like I'm gonna make plays that will potentially make the game long as fuck. Uh, Blunder was talking about this in one of his posts in the ulti discussion thread where he also posted a, a team that he was using made by Ben Gay and um, Poek. So he was talking about this how the um, how a lot of the meta is teams that just sit around and not teams that win. So like there were like a lot of long games. But yeah, I'm just gonna go Lardy every time on this. Actually, I should have gone to something different. Should have gone to Clefable. Because if he burns me, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, so this time I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam. Because last time I doubled out and I don't want him to predict my double. If he goes to Scissor, um, he still takes chip damage. He doesn't know that I have HP Fire. So I have this going for me. He's just gonna think he can Ruth or Defog and he loses the Scissor. So we're already in a good position now. Okay, so never mind. This game is not gonna take forever. We already made progress now because he just lost his Defogger. So this means I can Hazard stack him. I just have to be careful that he doesn't copy my Hazard setters. Um, he's gonna go for rocks here. I'm gonna go Clef, get up my rocks. Yeah, um, that's fine. Gotta keep my Clef healthy to check his um, bandit Zygarde. Gonna go Lottie here. Oh, yeah, I think Trickle Tech is also nice. Very nice with his Zygarde. Hope f yeah, this should bounce the. F oh, he crits and come the fuck on. I was like, this should bounce off, but he crits. But yeah, we might be Lottie. We can just roost. Shrug this off and yeah, should be fine. I don't know why you're taking so long. Like your only play is um I guess he doesn't have much for this chance. He's his only play or pex, I don't know. So he's trying to para like something. Yeah, he's trying to hex me because he doesn't have a wincon. Good players. I mean he has a wincon, but like I don't know what his wincon is. Like he has a way of winning is what I meant, I just don't know. I'm just gonna ice beam, he should go chancy, but if he goes chancy he has to take rocks plus spikes. And he just forfeits. So yeah, we're gonna get another one because it was somewhat fast. So I, this guy was mid 1400s and he played like a 12 on a play, no offense. But like, I don't know. He played kind of bad. And we got rain, I don't know. Yeah, I get that people use rain in the low ladder, but like... It gets kind of annoying when you face rain a lot. Um. Okay, not the best win loss race, you gotta just play careful. Uh, no Halucha to worry about. Gudra can be annoying depending on the set. Um, so, I assume he's gonna lead Pelipper or Coco. I think Ferrosan should be. I still wanna leave with Pex. Okay, he leads with this. So, it should be fine to get up a T spike, which is what I want for his Swampert, for his Coco. It goes Ferrothorn. I can try to burn this. I can. Huh. Now I can just go Laddie here. Because the first turn, um, I don't think he's gonna see this HP fire coming. I mean, it's kinda obvious that I have it because I went hard into it, but it's low ladder, so I'm not gonna over predict. And now he should switch, so. I want a T bolt here, predicting a switch into his Pelipper. But I'm just gonna roost. He does protect, which was an awful play. Um, now he can live another hidden power fly. I want to T-build here really, really badly. So I don't think he has knockoff, so I'm just gonna... Huh. Tempted to go Coco here. Tempted to T-build here as well. But I'm just gonna HP fire because it's low ladder, like I said. Yeah, these guys are fucking insane. I don't understand why you would make that play. Like, your Ferrothon can help you this matchup. Why are you just throwing your Ferrothon away? I have a type of Coco. Do you see this? Why are you... Why do you keep doing this? Like, I'm gonna... I wanna T-Bolt here, but this guy has shown that he's bad. But I'm gonna T-Bolt. And if he stays in, um, I'm gonna Rage a lot. But, like, he has shown that I have shown HP Fire. So, exactly, he goes Pelipper. Which was an awful play, and he dies. And this should be a pretty easy win now. The T-Spike is up. Pert threatens me in rain, but I can just switch out. Gudra is... I don't know what Gudra is doing. I have a Pharaoh Thorn. He can't even Fire Blast me in rain. Like, it's not gonna do much if he has Fire Blast in rain. If he's cursed Gudra, that can be annoying. But he doesn't have the ability... He doesn't have the ability that... Um, the hydration ability, so he doesn't get healed of his status. Um, but never mind, he has. He has hydration. Never mind. Okay, I thought it's because he came in on a teeth, but... So if he's a cursed side of rest, it could be annoying, but 
I can just spike here, I can knock off. I wanna knock off if he goes Ferrothorn. But he goes Pearl. Why? Since when is Ferrothorn a uh, Pearl? The switch in for Ferrothorn. I should have just spiked there. These people get me so fucking triggered. But yeah, yeah. This guy pretty much already got destroyed. I don't think he can win. I'm um, tempted to get another one after this. We're getting kinda easy wins here. He crits me, but it still does nothing with a power up punch. If he dodges, that would be classic, but he doesn't. Um, I mean, it's like 30 minutes only, but. 30 minutes is an okay length for a video. Okay, okay, we're gonna get another one that boy just dipped. Like, I don't wanna make my video super long. It takes kind of, it takes kind of long to upload with my... Man, it's not that good. It's, 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 bit, it's gotten better, but it's not super good. Uh, but yeah, let me just check rank. 1387. Okay, this guy's trash GXE. I just gotta be careful. So I, I'm gonna expect the random sets that just throw me off. Like, um, this score seems really good versus him. Coco as a lead seems really good as well. Just gonna leave with Coco as he leads with this. Um, so that didn't work out well. Should have went with my gut and let the score. Like I said, first this guy looks good. He just flash cans for five million because he specs. Just gonna have Craig. He has a free Altaria switch in, but he stays into B sturdy Magna Zone. I I told you guys. I told you. Down low ladder players that are bad with random sets always throw me off and get me. <laughs> what is live, man? These guys are fucking wild. But yeah, I think I can can go into Coco and click Dazzling Gleam here. This is so annoying, dude. I kinda wanna not reveal that I have Dazzling Gleam, but it's whatever. The score, I mean, this score was mainly needed for Magna Zone, so it's fine that we lost it. Oh, that I lost it. But it's still annoying. Dude, if I lose to this guy, I'm gonna quit my Pokemon career. Like, this guy is not even good. Like,. <laughs> Like, I hope you don't get offended if you are watching me, but like, low ladder players, like, they... Like, I know that you just get, like, some players, you have to start somewhere if you get, if you're new to the game. And I myself, I also still misplay, like, a ton. Or, like, I misplay every now and then, is what I meant. But, like, I just don't get how you can... Not have any idea what you're doing. I mean, this guy, like, he made... F he, I can't even shit talk him because he, like... He didn't even do anything wrong, but, like... Sturdy Magnezon, like, come the fuck on. You don't even trap Thorazon with that. Like, what's the point of that? Mm, so he's just gonna cover then. Yeah, this is a threat. I think I have to go hard. Pax, if I had a taunt Coco, that would be amazing. So if he's Psychium Z, which he can definitely be. Okay, he... What the fuck? This guy actually knows that this... Waltz him if he doesn't have the correct coverage. Um, I expect a taunt here. I'm just gonna go hard Coco. He goes Zygarde. So I'm gonna calc if I can kill him with a Twinkle Tackle. Bro, the problem here is, um, I don't know his set, he could be Spadef, he could be Scarf, like, I, you can expect everything. Um, yeah, Z-Move should kill him. Z-Move kills him, I'm gonna go for it, I think. If he's Scarf Zygarde, I'm gonna say props to you, my man, you are wild. But he stays in and he's not Scarf, hopefully he's not next Spadef. As he dies, phew, so Coco putting that work. Um, Ladi also would have won that one game where the guy forfeited, so I think Ladi also put in work and deserves to be in a thumbnail as well. Um, I assume this is gonna be like Dragon's Altaria, but I'm still gonna go for Dazzling Gleam to get really good damage on him. Um, I assume now he's gonna go for Earthquake. Uh, Coco's still nice, so we're gonna go Ferrothorn. Uh, that does nothing. If he has Fire Blast. Oh, we don't have Leech Sheet. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Should have just gone to Clef. But we do get our lead sheet off, we don't miss. Um, I think I have to go to Clef. Plus the return is gonna do a lot. I misplayed this, this was awful fucking playing on my part. That did so much, I should've just gone back into Feral maybe. Nah, nah, this was the correct play, yeah. I, uh, I play a bit shaky around this. Okay, I should still win, but this guy's really throwing me off with his what set. So if I said anything, like if I ever rage at you and you're like a sub and I'm like battling you. I don't know, Lega, Lega triggers me. I think I just have to stay in to break his disguise. Is Z Splash or Z Home Clothes? Why is Z Home Clothes not Z Splash? 
I should have toxic maybe, but this is fine. Um, I just sacked this, I don't need my clef, and I just go packs and haze. I think. If he crits me, I'm gonna fucking get wild and scream. <laughs> Shout out to Amancy Led, who always goes super wild when he gets like hexed on ladder. Or when he gets uh, destroyed by a, an unset, as you would say. Okay, that did completely nothing. Um, so we're just gonna recover up, and he honk claws again. I'm just gonna scald. Goes Tapufini. Hard Coco is always the play. I expect a taunt on Nature's Madness. I mean, I could try to T Spike, which is good, but like. like I'm predicting a taunt, which is why I'm going Hard Coco. I mean, I can also go Hard Pharaoh, honestly, but I don't want a Pharaoh in because that lets this setup. He gets a crit, which is to be expected. Um, classic ladder. Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna T Bolt. He eats that up. Yeah, that, I shouldn't have done that, I should have roosted. But yeah, we have the electric terrain up, so T-Bolt is gonna kill. Actually, never mind, Ladi doesn't... I don't think if... I don't know if Ladi gets the electric terrain boost because it's levitating. I'm not sure if it gets... that did nothing, so I don't think I get an electric terrain boost. So I can still lose to the correct Volcarona set. I don't know why I sent my Coco. Uh, so he's just Giga Drain, that's fine. Yeah, I should have gotten number T spike earlier, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But I just saw this guy would taunt me, like, I just don't get it. I'm gonna expect the defog and teeth back again. Uh, just gonna go furrow here, get my regen. I'm gonna leech here, predicting a Volk kinda. Yeah, I should still win this bar hex. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so like he has some weird sets, but the sets that he has, thankfully, other than the Magnus zone, they weren't able to really throw me off and put in work versus me. So teeth back back up. Any forfeits. So we're gonna end it here, 37 minutes. I got like a bit heated for some reason, I don't know why. And we're only 14 50. I can show my rank. I think I have two losses already. One was to like a Nether King, which shreds this team. Team is gonna be down below. Um, Hit me up with a like if you wanna see more of this. Or like if you just enjoy I know that people always like it when I drop teams in the descriptions. Even though some of you probably already have this team. It's not that unknown. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I might record a sh uh, heat shot on live that might go up tomorrow. I don't know when my friends are online. I definitely want to record some sort of heat later. Uh, I can sh no, actually, I'm not gonna give any preview because my main story is gonna get mad if I spoiler some of the teams that he whooped up. I'm just gonna say AV Hooper. That's all I'm saying. AV Hooper, the god. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> um, are you guys doing ulti too? I'm kind of interested in that. Let me know if you have like a good run or if it's too frustrating for you and if you stopped. Um, if you want to join my Discord, um, just hit me up. My Discord is Dockwitch, hashtag 5813. I'm going to invite you then. Um, have a fantastic day. Good luck if you're ladding for OT. It's, it's really stressful, but uh, let me actually check who's uh, already in top 500. Because it's already it's only the second day, I think, for the, the third cycle. Fardin is already at 2037. This guy is wild. And this is Sabella, I think. he's. Oh, this is Saber Mabay, not Sabella. Alexander already high up. Crystal Empo at 1800. What's my man Padlob at? I'm searching for my man Padlob. Solwind P2. I hope P2 can qualify. He was grinding, but he didn't make it last cycle. Oh, Padlob is not in top 500. I think he's at 1700. Yeah, so he's like below top 500, but he's like almost there. I'm kind of interested in what this guy is using. Let me see. Okay, so this guy who said like at the top of the ladder at the moment he's using stall. Okay, like I don't know if he's only using stall. I know a lot of players use um rain or something like HO bird spam to get to 1800s or 1700s and then use stall or balance or like some sort of different place from there. So I'm not gonna like say that he used stall for his entire run, but like um stall is just super good. So like I can't say anything. Ray Scarf is qualified with stall, even though a lot of people say this is not the best stall team at the moment. They say. I think double defog is a bit better. Um, like that's pretty much what everyone says. I haven't really used double defog. I haven't used stall in a way. Thankfully, I'm getting away from being a stall fag. And Auras, I use stall a lot. You could consider me stall fag in Auras. Um, but yeah, thankfully, when I started my YouTube, um, I learned other play styles. And I'm still not that best, obviously, but I um, at least know how to use most play styles now. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day. And Dokuch signing out. Whew.